In this video, I'm gonna show you how Palo Alto Firewall processes the pre, post, and also the shared security rules sent from Panorama. So if you have Panorama or you're planning on implementing it, this is the video for you. And also as a bonus in the end of the video, I'm gonna show you if you're planning on Panorama to, to configure from scratch, why you should prefer to use the post rules, post security rules instead of the pre rules. So let's get to it. So my name is Ricardo. And if you don't know what Panorama is, it's an appliance, it's a management appliance from Palo Alto that allows you to configure many files using the same web interface. So you can push the same configuration to many files instead of having to configure each one of them. You just configure once and then the configuration is pushed to all of them. So now I'm at pan the Panorama. And if you go to policies, where I am, you're gonna see on the left side uh, that the menu is a little bit different than the normal file. You can see these pre and post rules and in this case, the default rules that you don't have at the firewall. For this video, I'm gonna just concentrate on the security part, but the idea of the pre and post rules, they are the same also for the other functions or for the other menus. So a normal firewall, a Palo Alto firewall, it processes rules from top to bottom until it finds a match. And placing a new rule as a pre and post rule, in this case here, can have an influence in how the file will process these rules. So the order that the, the rules are going to appear at the file are like this. It starts with the pre-rule that you configure in Panorama. Then it takes the local file rule, that the rule that you configure directly on the file. Then afterward comes the post rules. And in the end, it comes the default rule. So it means whenever you configure something at the file locally, not through Panorama, the rule that you configure there, they are gonna be between the pre and post rules. So the pre-rules come first, then the file, then the post rules here, and then the default rules. It seems easy so far, but there's more. Whenever you're in Panorama, you can choose, you can decide if you want to configure the, the rules in the device groups. They are showed up, they're shown up here. In this case, I have shared uh, selected, but I have the option to select other device groups. These device groups, you can configure them under Panorama device groups. So here you have all the device groups that I have configured and I have my Palo Alto virtual machine assigned to the group New York. And this device group New York, it's a child from the East branches, which is a child from NAM branches, which is a child from branches, which is a child from share. You can have four levels. The maximum that Palo Alto supports, there are only four levels under the shared. So I have branches, NAM, East, and then New York. For this video, I'm gonna use this example of a device group structure that you can find on the Palo Alto website. I just build a schema like this and I just place my file on the New York so that I can show you how these pre and post rules work in live. So in this case here, for example, if you configure an allow rule in the data center group, all files in the data center, as well as also in NAM, EMEA, West and East, will receive the rules. Rules configured in the pre-rules are processed from most gen general to most specific. It means that the file starts with the shared, which is the most general one, and goes down this hierarchy. So a rule configured in West would never match if you have the same rule configured in NAM. On the other hand, if you configure the rules in the post rules, the file starts with the most specific ones and just and goes to the most general. It's just the opposite as the pre-rules. So for a file in New York, for example, this is the order that the file would process the rules. Well, that's a long list, but I think if we take a look together at the file and you can see it live, I think you, you will register it better. So now I'm actually at my, at my file and I can see both default rules coming from Panorama. You can see that they are coming from Panorama because they are kind of yellow in the background. And now I'm gonna configure a new rule, allowing ping to the IP address 8888. And impor important, I'm gonna call this rule local firewall rule. Source zone, I'm gonna just leave any. Source address any. Any, and I'm gonna allow this to 8888. 
application is going to be ping. So there's my rule. Then I'm going to commit my configuration and I'm going to jump to Panorama. So in Panorama, I'm going to start with the pre-ruled under shared. And call it shared pre-rule. So there's my shared pre-rule, configure under shared. I'm going to do the same now for the post rule. I'm going to click on add. And then shared post rule. What's going on today? <laughs> Destination. This is my post rule now under the device group shared. And I'm going to do the, the same thing for the other device groups. Branches, NAM, East, Branches, and New York. All the way down to New York. So I'm just going to fast forward so you don't sleep watching this video. And I'll be right back. You can see here on the pre-rules that the shared rule, they come from the top all the way to the bottom. Share the branches, the NAM, East, and New York. If we go to post rules, you're going to see that it's the opposite order. The most specific one, in this case, is the New York, my leaf from my uh, device group. It stays on top. And the shared one, that's the most generic one, it's on the bottom. You can see the panorama already orders it the way that it's going to be shown on the file. Now, let's go commit this configuration. Commit and push. And I'll be right back when it's done. I'm going to show you at the file. So I'm at the file now. You can see that the commit is going through. It still hasn't still gone through. I'm going to close this window. You can see that so far. Oh, I have a mistake here. File rule. I'll leave a nail. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Um, there's a commit going on, of course, and this is the rule that I configured on the firewall. So, so far it's only this one and the default rules that came from Panorama before. Let me click on the task again to see, so 98%. And then we're going to reload this and take a look to see what the file does with this commit. I'm going to try to reload now. Maybe you can see something. Yeah, so this is what it looks like on the file make some lines so we can identify what's pre-rule, what's post-rules the, at the file. So the first set of rules, let's say like this, they are the pre-rules and it comes a, a little bit larger line separating the local file rules. In this case, it's just one. Then again, a stronger line. And then you have the post-rules and then again, a stronger line and then you have the default rules. But the important thing is to see Notice the order of these rules. You have the shared pre-rule, the branches, NAM, east, and then you have the leaf one regarding the device groups. And then this is the local file rule. Rule. And then let me just fix this. Rule. This one I have to commit locally. I'm just leaving it committing. Doesn't matter, close. And then you have the post rules. They are, like I said, on the opposite order. So the New York comes first and then the shared one is the last one. So you can see that the older rules, they are allowing the same thing, ping to 8888. So if I set the only rule that's going to work here, it's actually this shared pre-rule because it's the first one. All the other ones, they're never going to have a match because it's going to match first the shared pre-rule. Pre so if I go to Panorama and say that I want this shared pre-rule to be a deny rule, all the other rules here, they're not going to be relevant because they're never going to have any match. And the connection to 8888 is going to be denied. 
So in the beginning of the video, I promised you a little bonus. What if your firewalls are already running and you're just introducing Panorama? Or if you're just introducing the Palo Alto firewalls with Panorama, everything together? Where should you place your rules? Probably you're asking your, yourself this question. Or maybe you asked, it has, have asked before. My suggestion would be to use only post rules. If you do have different object groups, you need to pay attention that the most specific rules at the bottom of the device group hierarchy will take precedence on the shared ones. So in the po when you, whenever you use the post rules, you just need to, to be careful that the most specific ones, they just take precedence. And the reason that I, that I would choose the post rules is if somehow you push some rules where you're not supposed to and you lose connection to your panorama from your firewall or panorama has a problem, it breaks, something like this. If you use only post rules on panorama, you can still configure on your firewall some local rules that would take precedence over the panorama rules that you have been pushing. So in this case, you, you will be able to change something using the firewall local rules. If you have Panorama pushing pre-rules, for example, and then you push a de deny any rule from the pre-rules from Panorama, it could be that you won't be able to override that with any local rules from the firewall, because as you understood from this video, the pre-rules, they take precedence over the local firewall rules. I would still recommend you to use the shared pre-rules for deny rules if you want to implement globally, some, some rules globally, such as deny malware targets, using the Palo Alto feeds and stuff like this. You set these rules once as a pre-rule, user you shared, and then you just forget about them. So this will be my two cents. <laughs> and that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching the video. And uh, if you liked the video, just give me a thumbs up. I hope I could give you some value. And if you want, you can subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.